Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. I'm Natalie Minnick. I am a wife and a mom of two toddler boys. I stay at home with them for the most part and I just really enjoy cleaning and really wanted to bring you guys along with me while I did that and give you guys some cleaning motivation along the way. I hope you guys pick up some tips and tricks and most importantly, just have some company while you clean. So today I am doing a realistic clean after being sick. Last week I put out a video and I'm so sorry. I was not my lively self. I was down for the count. I had the flu. I ended up going in to the doctor because I was so sick and I ended up having strep throat on top of it. So it was like a really bad week. So I apologize. I wasn't so lively in my last video, but I'm back. I'm feeling great and I'm excited to get cleaning. So my husband did pretty good with keeping up with the house. It is still messy, but I, um, I mean, I feel like that's normal just with kids and, you know, just living everyday life. So right now the the rest of the family is still sleeping it's in the it's probably like 6 a.m i think 6 6 30. so i got up and i just really wanted to get this house clean before we started our day so i always start off with the living room and the kitchen the living room's just easier for me and then also when the kid, kids get up and my husband gets up they like to watch a show so i rather just get this done and then they can be in there while i finish up the kitchen so to start off i usually just pick up all the toys from the floor i find their homes i try to keep it pretty organized i have bins for all different categories that is a project now that i'm watching this and talking about it I remind myself that I want to make um, it a project to put labels on all our bins so the kids know what goes in which bin. Um, but anyways, that was a side note. So anyways, yeah, so my the toys for the kids are pretty organized. I have bins for them or like if there's little odds and ends, I have like a big basket and I just throw all the toys in that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to clean up that. Since I was sick, the kids were sick. I'm going to wash all the blankets. Fall is coming up. I am going to get that ready to go and get a video out for you guys after Labor Day of me decorating for fall. So I'm not washing these pillowcases because I do like to change out my pillowcases to an orange color. So I'm not going to wash them right now just because they're just such a pain in the bum to get them off and put them back on and since I'm gonna do that I like to when I clean and get ready for fall I take all the pillowcases off and I try to do all the couches and I try to do kind of like a deep clean so I'm just gonna wait to do that um and then also my youngest son is still has a runny nose and he wipes his nose everywhere so <laughs> I'd rather just wait for him to be not sick so but then with school starting, I mean, I feel like my kids are always sick when school starts. So uh, anyways, we're going to get that done for the fall decorating. So yeah, so I'm just going through, put all the toys away. I had these books here. I'm going to actually bring them upstairs because I'm not reading them. Um, so I'm going to get them out of the living room and then I'm going to give everything a nice dusting and wipe down and give everything a nice good cleaning. When I do the living room and we have like water bottles and little odds and end toys, I ended up, th I end up throwing it all on my island here. So it ends up being like my catch all space. And when I'm cleaning either the kitchen or I'm cleaning the living room, I throw everything on here and then it's all in one spot. And then I can kind of, and the kids can't really reach it. And I can take my time to go through and organize and find homes for things here. So it ends up being a little crazy up here, but it ends up working out a little bit better instead of having it all over the house it's in one spot and then that drives me nuts when there's a lot of stuff on there so i end up just finding a home and getting that stuff put away faster just because it's all piled up there and it drives me crazy 
So that's kind of how I clean. I like to just kind of accumulate and put everything in one area, have the areas clean, and then I can tackle that project. And it just makes it a little easier for myself. It's not as overwhelming. And then also like, you know, you're seeing it, you're putting it on the island or wherever your catch-all space is. And, you know, while you're finishing cleaning up your room, you can kind of think of, you know, where something can go or what you need to do with that, that thing that you put on the island that you just really don't know what to do with. So, um, it kind of works out for me and it gives me like a little bit of time to, you know, not stress out about something if I can't figure out where to put it right away and I can put it there and it gives me a, a minute to, to figure that out. Anyway, so I'm going through with my Swiffer. I love this thing. It's one of the extender ones. So they have, oh, my camera is falling. Sorry about that. Um, they have like the little handheld ones, but I highly recommend getting the one with the extender. Then you can get like up on the ceiling, like where the wall and the ceiling meet, you can get those. Um, those areas and it's just you know spider webs always form and stuff so i do like the extender for things like that now you could use this even for like ceiling fans um but i always end up letting mine get so gross and so dusty that i don't really recommend using that i usually end up just using like I spray Windex or something on a paper towel and then I wipe it, um, the ceiling fans, but, um, you could like, if you keep up with it, like these Swiffer, cause it goes in angles, the head of the Swiffer here, the duster, um, it goes in angles. So it's like easy to get to. So yeah, so anyway, so I'm going to go through and dust everything. And then after that, I'm going to go and give everything a good wipe down. And when I'm doing wipe downs, my main multi-purpose cleaner is usually a disinfectant on top of it. It's just something I like doing, especially with kids. I feel like, you know, they're always sick. They're always bringing in germs and it just kind of helps, you know, get some of those germs out with um, having the disinfectant in the spray that you're using to wipe everything down. Now that I'm finished wiping everything down, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the carpet and the floors here. I ended up getting this cordless vacuum and it's been a game changer for me. I, you know, obviously had like a regular vacuum with a cord. It was just bulky, you know, getting it out of the closet or I had it upstairs or wherever and it just ended up I ended up not vacuuming as much as I do now. So this thing, we have it hung in our kitchen and you just pop it off the hanger and you go ahead and start vacuuming and it's awesome. We use it 
probably at least I think every day I kind of use it. I was trying to say maybe every other day, but I think I use it every day between, you know, the kitchen, the food messes. I have activity boxes for the kids with like rice in it and Cheerios as like a crunch box where they play in and that ends up getting on the floor and, you know, snacks in the living room and whatever. I have this reef on my door that just sheds panels. So there's just always a mess. So I'm constantly using the vacuum. So I'm pretty sure I almost use it every day. So if not every other day. Um, so if you guys are ever thinking of getting one, this is your message to get one. They're awesome. I ended up getting, I know I didn't really want to pay the shark price for the shark brand. So I got a knockoff brand. And this thing's amazing. There's three speeds on it. Um, so anyways, it's awesome. I don't, you know, I'll attach a link for an Amazon link, but I'm not like, I, I'm not sponsored for them or anything. I just really like it. So, and I have the um, wet mop too. Um like the wet vacuum mop with this company that I absolutely love too. So if you watch my previous videos, you know, I've talked about that. So anyways, I'll leave a link for both of those in case anyone is interested. It's, you know, they're pretty reasonable on Amazon right now. So, um, and like I said, I didn't really want to pay the shark price, the shark brand price for a cordless vacuum. And on all honesty, like I house clean too. Um, and I've used people's, uh, cordless vacuum, shark vacuums, and I don't really see the difference between them. So, um, you know, maybe there's a little bit more power, but when you have it on number three, like the third mode of this thing, it's awesome. So I really like it. So anyways, that's my spiel about that. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this kitchen organized and cleaned up. As you guys saw, we still had our dinner plates from the kids out. So I'm just going to get that stuff put away and get this table wiped down. I'm excited for fall to finally come around. I love summer, but I'm not big on humidity and heat. So um, I enjoy fall. I like, you know, the 70, 70 degree weather. I'm sure like most people. So I'm excited for that to hit. And I have such cute decorations. So I'm looking forward to decorating and getting all our fall decor out. So stay tuned for that video. I am slowly prepping and getting that all together. So I've been wanting to get a table runner for this table, but every time I am about to buy one, I think about how I would want to move it every single time we would eat because we eat three meals a day here. My son sits at the head of the table, so I just feel like it would be almost more annoying looking that because I'd constantly have to move it out of the way for like meals and stuff but at the same time I'm like well it would be super cute when we're not eating meals to see the day the table decorated anyways that is my internal <laughs> battle right now I know problems <laughs> so anyways so there's not really anything on our table right now but for fall I have like little pumpkins and stuff like that that I like to put out so summertime, I still need to find something that looks cute there that the kids won't break or anything. I've tried a few things, but nothing really stuck with the kids being able to climb on the table and stuff. I just finished up wiping the island back here. I'm just putting the rest of the snacks that were on the counter away. And I'm just going to give these cabinets right here a wipe down. It's the kids' snack cabinets, so there's always messy fingerprints and all that on there. And then I also just pulled the chairs out just so when I go to vacuum later on, I can get under that table and they were out of the way already. Now I'm going to go ahead and tackle this part of the kitchen 
We had takeout last night, so I just ran that out to the trash can, and now I'm going to start slowly getting all these dishes done. So when I'm cleaning this part of the kitchen, I usually try to work from left to right or right to left and kind of meet at the sink here. So I usually like to clean the counters and gather all the dishes to the sink area. So as you can see here, I'm starting all the way on the right side of my kitchen. I'm wiping down our air fryer oven thing and getting that whole area done. And I'm just, as I'm going along, I'm finding dishes to bring to the sink and I'm just gathering them all in the sink. And this way, when I'm done all the dishes, I know they're all in the sink already. I'm not worried about I feel like a lot of times, you know, you start off with the sink and you do the dishes and then it's like, oh, there was a lid on the stove and oh, there was a pot on the stove and oh, there was a cookie sheet on top of the oven or something. So you end up having to go back and do more dishes. <laughs> so this way I like to end with the dishes just because then everything else is nice and clean. I know all my dishes that I need to get done are in my sink already and it just makes it for more of an easy time for me to get all the dishes done when I do it that way. I'm not doing a big deep clean right now of my kitchen, but I do like to go through and wipe everything down and clean everything. So it is all still nice and clean. I did, you know, wipe down the counters. I'm going ahead and wiping down our stove still and it's all clean. The only things like for deep cleaning for me more so is like I'd really wipe down the backsplash or, you know, I would really move everything to wipe it down like I'd move the big oven air fryer thing on my counter and wipe underneath that I tilt it a little bit to get like the crumbs right there um but I don't move it all the way um and then same with you know if like these grates are starting to get a little yucky so when I'm doing a deep clean I would soak these grates and get them really clean but Right now, I'm literally just wiping it all down. I'm getting all the crumbs out, all the spills out, so it is nice and clean. I'm just not doing, you know, those deep cleans where I would be doing, you know, I think I would do that once a year, maybe twice a year, where I'm really soaking those grates and getting those clean there. And even the oven, like, I wouldn't turn that on maybe once a year or so. And I like to do that in the winter because it gets so hot. And, you know, kind of heats up your house a little bit then that way. So, and then it doesn't make your house so hot in the summer. Um, like, I, that's why I don't do it in the summer. So, it doesn't make the house hot. So, anyway, so I am doing a good clean. I'm wiping everything down. Um, sometimes I'll do stainless steel cleaner for those appliances. But this time I didn't. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. This is my fruit bowl and my veggies here. I did clean that out. I ended up having a tomato at the bottom of there, of the, of my bowl there. And I just didn't even know it was there. And it, yeah, it got yucky. So I did wash that and get that cleaned up. And now again, I'm just going ahead and moving towards my sink. I did all the counters. I gathered all the um, dishes that I need to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and empty my dish racks and my dishwasher. Usually I'll start off with my dish racks because things in the dishwasher sometimes I need to still dry and I like to throw them into the in the dish rack. So I usually try to empty those first before I go ahead and empty our dishwasher just so I am getting as much stuff put away as possible. For the kids stuff, I feel like they don't usually dry very well in the dishwasher. So I will put them on the grass drying rack there, the kids drying rack, um, just so they can dry more and I'm not putting it away wet or I don't have to dry it either. I could just put it on there and it will air dry itself. But when I do buy things, I definitely try to make sure things are dishwasher safe. I like to run my dishwasher every night 
every other night if we did like a takeout meal. Um, but usually it's almost every night that we run our dishwasher. And especially when the kids were little and they were drinking milk and had bottles and all that, I ran the dishwasher every night. So I love the dishwasher. <laughs> I use it quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the dishwasher. I'm going to get all the stuff that I can put in here, in here, and then I'm going to wash the rest by hand. So I went to go wash some dishes by hand and realized I ran out of soap and this was a huge fail. So I wanted to fill it up from the top here and I am trying to find my count where when it's empty, I know what number to count to, to know when to stop and know it won't overflow. So I just found out my number is probably like 15. I did like 22 here and it overflowed and you'll see me in a little bit like there's so much soap on my sponge right now because I just wiped up soap from the sink so I'm just going to go ahead and wash some dishes while this uh, sponge is full of soap but you'll see me then take the pump from the soap dispenser and I'm going to take a little bowl and I'm going to pump in the soap into the little bowl just so I'm not wasting the soap. Um, and then I'll, I'll just use the soap from the bowl um, until that runs out. Our pots and pans are dishwasher safe, but because I'm cleaning in the morning time, I did want to use these for cooking breakfast and stuff and lunch and dinner. So I didn't want to put these in the dishwasher. So that's why I'm washing them by hand. Um, but yeah, usually I would, if this was like nighttime, I would be sticking them in the dishwasher. So here's the bowl I was telling you about. So I can't really put the, the head of the soap dispenser really in there because it's overflowing. So I'm just pumping some of the soap out into the bowl and I just have that bowl there with the rest of the soap. And I'll just pour a little bit of soap on my sponge as needed until I finish up that soap. So that was a fail, but now I know my count is 15 and I just go one, two, three, four, et cetera, until I get to 15. And then I know to stop because it's going to be almost full. So that, you know, I feel like you kind of have to do it to learn. And then, you know, you kind of just go from there. Um, I could go under the sink and like twist the bottle off too, but then like, you know, you need to shine a light and you got to twist it back on. And I feel like it almost gets a little bit too a little more difficult than just trying to pour it from the top. Now these are a good kitchen knife, so I do wash these ones by hand and let them dry in the drying rack, but everything else does go in the dishwasher. Now I tried putting this plate in the dishwasher twice, and as you can see, there's like some marks on there. It almost looks like it was burnt, but I just used some elbow grease here. I just used some muscle and some soap and water, and it actually came off. Thank goodness. I was starting to get a little worried. The next step was going to try using Barkeeper's Friend on that or pink stuff, but I was like really nervous because that does take a little bit of a finish off. Um, so anyway, so I was glad the sponge and soap worked for that. 
So that was that sink. And then I got this for Christmas and I just found it in my closet. I'm pretty pumped to try this. It's a chopper. So um, I guess I still have to read directions, but I think you put it in the little cup, you put your onion in there and you just keep hitting the top back and forth and it like chops up your veggies for you. So I found that and finally opened that and washed that so I can use that. the window behind our sink here you can see there's a lot of splatter and stuff just from washing the dishes so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that down and get all those marks off of there and just get that nice and clean again My dog's bowl was just starting to get a little nasty, so I'm just taking a paper towel. I took some dish soap, and I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I'm going to wash that, and then I just take a clean paper towel and dry the food bowl, and then I can give her dry food in there. But it just started getting a little yucky, so I just wanted to give that a nice cleaning. Lastly, for down here, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum up the kitchen, and I wipe down the bathroom real quick as well, so this is all nice and clean, and like I did earlier, like I said earlier, I pulled those chairs back just to make it easier for me to vacuum under here and pick everything up, so now I'm going to go ahead and tuck the chairs back in and I can vacuum all around now. But now at least underneath the table is nice and clean and I don't have to go around the legs of all the chairs. And I was just able to do a nice quick vacuum under there. Now this was empty before starting the living room and kitchen and you can see here it picked up quite a bit of dust and dirt so I'm glad this kitchen and this living room is nice and clean now. A couple weeks ago when I was cleaning out a cabinet, I found my tomato candle. My husband got it for me um, a couple birthdays ago and it came in a box where I guess you technically could plant the box and a tomato plant was gonna come up. So I thought that was really cute, but it's a nice, I never ended up doing it though, but the candle is a nice refreshing candle and I just like really like having it on. So I was happy I found that again. And this lighter is really cool. You've probably seen it in one of my other videos as well. It was like one of those viral TikTok lighters that was going around, but it works really good. You just plug it in, recharge it, and you just always have a lighter on you. Um, anyways, I love it. I'll put a link to it in my description box below. It's, it's awesome. Definitely worth getting.
and here I just wanted to show you guys it's already a mess after finished cleaning so it doesn't last long in my household now I'm going to go ahead and clean our bedrooms and our bathroom upstairs and get all these organized I'm not doing anything crazy in these rooms I'm just kind of straightening up a light dusting and changing my youngest son's bedding I changed ours and my oldest son's bedding already so I'm just going to go ahead and get these rooms all straightened up I have laundry here that needs to get put away that was there for over a week from being sick so I'm going to go ahead and just get all this stuff put away and it's time to start my next round of laundry and I just need these baskets so I really need to get uh, all these clothes put away so I can have these baskets so I can start laundry all over again. <laughs> Now that all the laundry is put away, I'm going to go ahead and use these baskets for all the dirty laundry. So I never like taking my actual laundry hamper downstairs. I like to put all my dirty laundry in the laundry baskets just because I fold my laundry downstairs in the living room and I put all the folded laundry in the baskets. So I rather not have to remember to bring my hamper back upstairs and you know and remember to bring laundry baskets downstairs or whatever so i rather just put all our laundry all right. into the baskets already Set. Go. Woo! <laughs> very cool all right and that was just a little fun that we do, the kids and I. We love pushing the laundry baskets down the hallway. It's so much fun. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and empty the trash from our bedrooms. And I'm going to go ahead and do a light dusting quick throughout our room. And then I'm going to move on to the next room. Usually I try to get the bedrooms and the bathroom upstairs cleaned while my husband's home and he can watch the kids. But like I said, last week we were sick and then this weekend we were feeling better and we just wanted to get outside. So we did a lot of, you know, we went to the park and we went, I don't even know how to pronounce this place, but we went there. It was like a huge nature type thing. Um... So we went there, we had a barbecue, a family barbecue. So we ended up um, being outside for a lot of the weekend. So I really didn't have time to do all this um, while my husband is home. So that's why I'm doing it with the kids now, but they love doing it too. They have fun. They are, they're really good helpers. As you can see here, they love emptying and dumping their laundry in the basket. They love pushing the baskets. Um, so they're big helps and they, you know, enjoy it too. For my youngest son's room, like I said, I'm going to be changing the bedding. I changed the changing pad here she and I'm just going to go through and dust everything my son's helping getting the stuffed animals out of his crib so I can get the old sheets off and have the new sheets on so he was helping with that and then also you'll see my youngest help me straighten up his bookshelf so I do love getting the kids involved and have them help clean and see kind of like what goes into what I'm doing and that I'm actually doing stuff and not just being away from them because of course I have mom guilt about that where I'm like oh, I'm just cleaning all the time they don't know what I'm doing they probably just think I'm like relaxing or something upstairs and not spending time with them so sometimes I do enjoy having them with me so they can kind of see like what all I'm doing and 
you know, understand a little bit, like, when I say mommy's cleaning. So I do like that they, you know, make an effort and try to help me as well. I'm just going to go ahead and wash this pillowcase. I was just showing you how gross it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the wash as well. And now I'm going to just make up his bed again. I have three sets of sheets on their beds. So it's just nice and convenient when I go to change sheets. I can just pull that off and not really have to make the bed then because I have a new set on already. And here is my youngest helping put the books all nice and neat back on the shelf. He is just the cutest little thing. I know I'm biased. <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and organize this and straighten all this up. When I'm straightening up their bookshelves, I also try to move books around a little bit just so we hopefully grab a different book than we were reading that week. And then it kind of just gives a little bit more of rotation when we're reading the books and stuff. And then it just kind of hopefully sparks his eye because we let, we let him pick a book or two. So it kind of just shows him like there's other books too instead of just always picking up the same book. So I do like to try to rotate and move around the books a little bit on their shelves. Here is my oldest son's room. Like I said, I changed his sheets already. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the bed. I'm going to fold this blanket up. I'm going to do some dusting in here, put some of the rest of the laundry away in here, and then I'm going to straighten up a little bit on his bookshelf, and then that's a wrap for his room. Lastly, I'm going to do a quick wipe down of this bathroom. So I'm not going to be doing the floors or the tub, but I'm going to wipe down the mirror. I wipe down the bathroom sink and I wipe down the toilet area. So then at least the main things that we're using is nice and clean. And, you know, I try to do this in my Sunday cleaning routine, but, you know, sometimes if whatever day works, like I try to do Sundays today is Monday. So that I'm doing this. So whatever. I try to get it done weekly and it's just like a quick realistic clean that I do and at least I know this is done and also my son you know he climbs up on the potty. It's not like he can just you know sit down like we do. So, you know, I don't want his little fingers getting into anything yucky. So I rather just make sure I try to make sure the toilets are always clean and, you know, accessible for him to, to use. And then like, you know, every other week or every three weeks is when I will do like a deep clean and wipe down the tub and the floor and all that. So, um, but yeah, that's like my realistic clean. I'm not one to go ahead and go all out every single time. I just don't have time for it with the kids around. Um, so this is just a realistic clean for me on how I get our bathrooms done and our bedrooms and our living room and our kitchen. 
Lastly, I'll just take the bath towels out of our bathroom. I do wash our bath towels weekly. So after I'm done this, I will also put those in the laundry basket to bring downstairs. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and got some tips and tricks along the way and, you know, realistic tips and tricks on how to keep up with your household, like, you know, skipping the tub and the floors every other week and, you know, just doing the toilet and the sink or, you know, running your dishwasher every night so you're not spending so much time doing dishes every day and, you know, running the vacuum every day and, you know, little stuff like that. So let me know what your favorite tip or trick is that you learned from here or one that you guys use at home that I haven't mentioned. I would love to hear from you guys and know some other tips and tricks out there. And if you guys are new here, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Until next time, everyone. See ya!